we are asked to rationalize the denominator. To rationalize the denominator means to create an equivalent expression that does not contain square roots in the denominator. And because we have a similar difference in the denominator, to rationalize the denominator, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. To form the conjugate of the denominator, we simply change the subtraction to addition. If we had addition here to form the conjugate, we would change the addition to subtraction. So to rationalize the denominator of this expression, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by 7x square root 5 plus 2y square root 3. And again, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the same expression to create an equivalent expression. So multiplying in the numerator, we now have 3 times the quantity 7x square root 5 plus 2y square root 3. In the denominator, we now have the quantity 7x square root 5 minus 2y square root 3 times the conjugate, which is 7x square root 5 plus 2y square root 3. And now we multiply in the numerator and the denominator. In the numerator, we distribute 3. In the denominator, we are going to have four products. We first distribute 7x square root 5 into the second binomial. And then we distribute negative 2y square root 3 into the second binomial, giving us four products. In the numerator, we have 3 times 7x square root 5, which gives us 21x square root 5. And then we have 3 times 2y square root 3, which gives us plus 6y square root 3. And now in the denominator, the first product is 7x square root 5 times 7x square root 5. Well, 7x times 7x is 49x squared, and square root 5 times square root 5 is equal to the square root of 5 times 5. And therefore, we get 49x squared times the square root of 5 times 5. We will simplify here in the next step because we have the square root of 5 squared. For the next product, we have 7x square root 5 times 2y square root 3, which is going to give us plus 7x times 2y is 14xy. And then we have the square root of 5 times the square root of 3, which gives us the square root of 5 times 3, or if we want the square root of 3 times 5. For the next two products, we distribute negative 2y square root 3. Negative 2y square root 3 times 7x square root 5 is going to give us minus 14xy square root 3 times 5. And for the final product, we have negative 2y square root 3 times 2y square root 3, which gives us minus 4y squared times the square root of 3 times 3. And because the radicand is 3 squared, this will also simplify in the next step. So simplifying, the numerator does not simplify. We have 21x square root 5 plus 6y square root 3. In the denominator, the square root of 5 times 5 or 5 squared simplifies to 1 factor of 5. So here we have 49x squared times 5. Notice the next two terms are opposites. We have 14xy square root 15 minus 14xy square root 15. And this difference is 0. Whenever we multiply conjugates, the two middle terms should always be opposites and simplify to 0. And then here, the square root of 3 times 3 or 3 squared simplifies to 1 factor of 3 which gives us minus 4y squared times 3. And that's a term on these two products. Again, the numerator remains the same. We have 21x square root 5 plus 6y square root 3. In the denominator, 49 times 5 equals 245. And therefore, we have 245x squared. And 4 times 3 is 12. And therefore, we have minus 12y squared. This is a simplified expression or the expression with a rationalized denominator. I hope you found this helpful.